Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to install a software update point for Configuration Manager. First of all, I need to install Windows, I'm sorry, the um, WSUS Windows Update, um, Windows Service Update. So what you need to do is um, go into Manage under Server Manager, click on Add Roles and Features. Click next and next again and next. So you want to choose Windows Server Update Service. The tools used are required. Go ahead and click on Add Features. Click next. Look like all the prerequisites is already installed, which is the .NET Framework features. So this is required. You might you if you don't have if you don't have this installed yet, go ahead and, and, and check that. And I'm going to click next. Next again. Windows internal database. I'm going to choose I'm going to use SQL Server instead of internal database. Click next. The location where I'm going to download the contents is I'm going to put it on F drive. Let's call it WSS contents. Click next. It's going to be a local SQL server. So you can just click on check connection or if you have a different server on a remote server, you might want to put in the server name and then the SQL's instant name. Click on check connection successfully connected I'm going to click next and I'm going to click install the installation process will take five to ten minutes I'm going to pause the recording and welcome back all right look like the installation has completed I'm going to click close as you can see here there's a notification that you need to run the um, the window setup, I mean the configuration, uh, the configurations of the WSS. So you don't really need to do this. Um, we're going to install software update point from configuration manager console. Let's go to the administration and then go to site configurations and click on site servers and site roles. Click on the site, click on add site roles. Click next and next again. Let's choose software update point. Click next. I'm going to choose WSUS configured on use ports 8530. And 8531 for the SSL. Require SSL? Nope. Allow configuration manager cloud mention gateway. I, I'll do this later if I'm going to to support internet based client uh, patching. I'm going to click next and next again. Oh, by the way, if you have if you require a proxy server. You're going to have to enter that information here. Next, it's going to sync from software update point. I mean, so from Microsoft updates. WSS reporting events. Uh, do not create at this time. Or you can create one. All the reporting events. I can do this later. Click next. You want to enable synchronization updates every seven days. I'm going to put it every one day. Um, let's put it back every seven days. That's good enough. Click next. Superseded behavior. You can do immediate superseded software updates or you can do not. Expire superseded software until software has been superseded.
for three after three months that's good by default and do not expire it's going to be again the same for three months run WSAS cleanup after synchronizations let's do that click next download full files and approval updates click next I'm going to choose critical updates updates and upgrades also tools feature updates definition updates I probably don't need definition updates since I don't uh, use the Microsoft um, the antivirus I'm going to click next all products you can choose the I'm going to choose office check out XP in 2003 even 2007 operating system Windows Windows 7 I don't need to say 2003 I don't need dynamic explore when um, explore 7 I don't need Vista I don't need 2008. Actually, I do need 2008 R2. I don't need XP. Click next. I'm going to check out Chinese. It's going to be English only. It's good click next and next all right let's give it a few minutes uh, it's going to take a while to install the the roles and even though it's give you all the green but in the background it's still installing you can look at the log files for the um, installation of the WSS should be in the logs Look at the site component. We open up with the tools. Launch CM Trace. All right, let's look at the log again. Site component log, we're going to open with trace tools. Now let's take a look at the site system. And component, I should see WSS. There it is. So it's still um, trying to install. All right, um, I'm going to let it finish and um, we'll come back when it's done. And the log file here, um, it should trigger WSUS install. As you can see here, WSUS settings, it's installing. Synchronizations. So we'll come back. Um, once it finished, you should see the software update point sync all green here. Everything is, you should see catalog versions, last sync, and all that stuff must be up here. And it's going to show green under icon. Let me pause the video and welcome back. All right, um, let's take a look at the status message. There's the um, 
FW says update source not found. Let's take a look at the log file. It says you need to look at the what's that file again? Oops. WCM.log. Right click and go to open with configuration manager trace. So it's a HTTP status for four not found. Let's take a look at our WSS. WSS. I'm going to right click and go to Windows Software Update Service. Click on run. Hmm. So you get an error here. Uh, let's see. Probably have to look in the log file to troubleshoot. Um, but usually it's going to take a while to configure the WSS. So that was the process of installing WSS and software update point for configuration manager. Thank you for watching and have a great day.